Hello friends, I am Ms. Varsha Gaitonde and here I am going to explain you about epigenetics and its utility in crop improvement. Let us see what is epigenetics. It literally means above or on the top of genetics. It refers to external modifications to DNA that turn genes on or off. These modifications do not change the DNA sequence, instead they affect how cell read genes. That means functional changes but no change at DNA level. Term epigenetics refers to heritable changes in gene expression that does not involve change in underlying DNA sequence. In other words, a change in phenotype without a change in genotype. Riggs and co-workers in 1966, they studied mitotically or meiotically heritable changes in gene function that cannot be explained by changes in DNA sequence. History of epigenetics The Lamarck's mechanism for evolution is inheritance of acquired traits. He believed that traits altered or acquired over the individual lifetime could be transferred down to its offspring. A Lamarck's idea that the act of stretching one's neck could lead to change in phenotype across generations. Here the giraffe explanation is well suited. Conrad Weddington in 1942 coined the term epigenetics and he is known as father of epigenetics. Remember, Cornet Weddington 1942 is father of epigenetics. He attempted to explain how a static set of DNA sequences could dynamically give rise to a complex organism. Pioneering work by Weddington also demonstrated compelling evidence for inheritance of a acquired characteristic in Drosophila fruit flies. Epigenome Epigenome consists of a record of the chemical changes to the DNA and histone protein of an organism. These changes can be passed down to the organism's offspring, that means it is heritable. Changes in the epigenome can result in changes in the structure of chromatin and changes in the function of a genome. The epigenome is a multitude of chemical compounds that can tell the genome what to do. Epi alleles Alleles of a locus which have identical DNA sequence but display different epigenetic states and which has been proposed to influence a variety of phenotypes in plant and animals. Molecular epigenetic mechanisms. Here, DNA packaging, how the DNA is packed by different condensation processes in a chromosome is nothing but a molecular epigenetic mechanism. It condenses at a different level like uh, minus 300, 700, 1100 and all and finally it get packed in a dense manner. DNA in chromatin is packaged around histone protein in units referred to as nucleosome. It has 147 base pair of DNA associated with an octameric core of histone protein consisting of two H3 and H4 histone dimers surrounding the two H2A, H2B dimers. To refresh your knowledge, there are uh, four types H1, H2A, H2B, H3 and H4. N-terminal histone tail protrude from the nucleosome into the nuclear lumen. Nucleosome spacing determine chromatin structure which can be broadly divided into heterochromatin and euchromatin. Here euchromatin is the functional strategy in a chromosome whereas heterochromatin is uh, a darkly staining and have, is very less active genetically. The mechanisms are DNA methylation, histone modification and RNA mediated interference. In epigenetics the mechanism DNA methylation is very important. The histone modification involves acetylation, methylation and phosphorylation. Finally RNAi process. Coming to methylation. 
Methylation is an epigenetic mechanism used by cells to control gene expression. This is addition of a methyl group to the fifth carbon of cytosine. In eukaryotic cell, this process is carried out by a family of DNA methyl transferase enzyme which transfers methyl groups from the methyl donor s adenylmethionine that is SAM to the cytosine. Resulting 5-methyl cytosine is often repressive and can lead to gene silencing. The repressive nature of 5 and C is uh, thought to inhibit the binding of DNA by transcription factors or to recruit additional chromatin proteins to form heterochromatic state that is inaccessible for transcription. DNA methylation in mammals mainly occur on the cytosine molecule in a CPG site. In plants, the cytosine can be methylated to CPG, CPHPG and CPHPH sites where H represents any nucleotide. 24 to 30% of cytosine have base in uh, plants genome is found to be methylated. Coming to DNA methylation of transposons. Genome-wide sequencing has revealed that transposons and other repetitive elements constitute large proportion of most eukaryotic genomes. These organisms have eukaryotes or evolved mechanisms to silence and immobilize transposons or transporon elements like RNA interference and epigenetic DNA methylation. Transcription elements and other repeat sequences are the main targets of cytosine methylation and various studies have demonstrated that DNA methylation primarily functions as a transcription element silencer. DNA methylation at CG, CHG and CHH cytosine is, is uh, conducted by MET1 that is methyl transferase 1 and CMT3 that is chromomethylase 3. Second is histone modification. They are the chief protein components of chromatin acting as the spoons around which the device and playing a role in gene regulation. Histone modification happens in three processes methylation, acetylation, phosphorylation. Methylation. The enzyme required here is histone methyl transferase and lysine methyl transferase. Methylation can result in activation or Repression of genes. This is just a switch on and switch off process. Typically, H3K9 Me2 and H3K9 Me3 don't regulate gene expression, while H3K4 Me1 and H3K36 Me3 upregulate target gene expression. These are specific genes. Second, is acetylation and desacetylation. This one acetylation is uh, occur to histone acyl transferases or adds it adds acetyl group to histone this which reduces positive charge and weakens interaction of histone with DNA. This facilitates transcription by making DNA more accessible to RNA polymerase to that means it increases the transcription rate. Histone deacetylation just a reverse of acetylation. Here the enzyme involved is histone deacetylase or h -lax. This removes acetyl group from histone tail, increases interaction of DNA and histones, repressed transcription. Histone phosphorylation. Phosphorylation for this enzyme required is specific This increases the negative charges of histone as a result, less interaction between DNA and histone so promoting peak condensation. This is mainly involved in the particular activation or uh, inactivation of the proteins. Defosphorylation and other defosphorus is in this positive charge followed by chromatin condensation. Coming to determination of the methylation by separation cytosine is submitted to less level methyl lysine uh, like remains natural. In the polarization reaction, uranyl is a template like uh, thalidine and all the cytosine 
new epigenetic variants are generated at a higher rate than genetic variants. If an epigenetic variant or epi allele has a phenotypic effect and more or less stably inherited to the progeny, it is referred to as epimutant. Such epi alleles constitute or contribute to the phenotypic diversity of a population and hence may have a role in adaptation and evolution. Epigenetic variation has been suggested as an explanation for missing heritability in complex traits. The third one is epigenetic QTL mapping. This helps in epigenetic mapping uh, like identifying additional significant QTLs associated with important agronomic traits. Several reports are there where QTL mapping is uh, enhanced or it was helped by this epigenetic technique. Heterosis studies. Epigenetic mechanisms can lead to variation of gene expression in hybrids when compatibility of two parents is increased, hybrids are said to be more beneficial. Here by genetic variation, the epigenetic natural variation leads to cis elements, trans factor, methylation, siRNA, miRNA or histone modification, anything by the compilation of different desirable characters that lead to change the chromatin status and variation of gene expression in hybrids that make differentiation from the parents to the progeny or the hybrid combinations that may be mm, environmentally strong or may be superior in terms of biotic or abiotic stress conditions. Coming to transient expression of transgenes. Transgenic plants are routinely generated for crop improvement or for research purpose. However, transgene may become silenced for uh, different generations in the following generations posing more serious challenge in applying genetic engineering to crop breeding. Transgene that are integrated into genomic regions which are subjected to epigenetic modifications during stress treatment are susceptible to environmentally induced silencing. To avoid this screen, for uh, lines with single copy insertion of transgenes into hypomethylated regions. Contribution to health and society like uh, in cancer treatment, developing different uh, drugs like uh, azacitidine approved for use in US to treat myelodysplastic syndrome a blood disease that can progress to leukemia. The drug turns uh, genes that had been shut off by methylation process. The different products based on epigenetics, sample measurements or blood type, D. Ademo is able to classify individuals are of six basic epigenetics that is hunter, gatherer, teacher, explorer, warrior and nomad type. This has developed, the company has developed 100% vegetarian dietary supplement customized specifically for the nomad genotype. It was developed to com complement both the genetic and epigenetic makeup. The field of epigenetic has rapidly developed into one of the most influential area of scientific research. Recent advances in the analytical methodology have allowed for the significant expression of what is known about genome-wide mapping of DNA methylation and histone modifications. Good knowledge of epigenetic mechanism lead to better understanding of the regulation of gene expression at transcriptional and post-transcriptional level. The mechanism like DNA methylation and histone modification play a key role in plant development and stress response. Mechanism of transgenerational epigenetic inheritance is still not clear, but when there is a declined adaptation of the technology like uh, genetic engineering, epigenetics may play a major role in developing new varieties or uh, the varieties with better adaptability. I hope you liked my video and please subscribe to get the further updates. Thank you.